six lap journey. Okay, make that six as the number 21 car of uh, Barry Granger moves out onto the circuit. And we've been told that uh, Barry Granger, in fact, is not the driver of the uh, number 21 car at this stage. We're told that uh, Barry Granger has indeed been uh, admitted to hospital with uh, severe chest pains, we've been told. So uh, we'll see if we can keep you posted on that. And uh, it would seem that uh, John Laws is possibly behind the wheel of car number 21. That was uh, going to be the scheduled driver for tonight's uh, Grand National feature. But uh, we'll see if we can get that confirmed for you. But uh, Barry Granger uh, with a, has been admitted to hospital, in fact, in the number 21 car. As the Grand Nationals now, number six on the circuit for a six lap journey. And that's the Newcastle driver, Ski Wood, in car number 72 up there from position two at the moment in the nose to tail lineup at any case. Car number 33 is Peter Hogan. Peter Hogan in the number 33 car. Back then to Ron Spink in the number four car. And it's the cowboy, Graham Lilford, out of Newcastle in car number two. Graham Lilford in the number two car. And we believe John Law is the driver of car number 21. And Ross Nicastri out of Goulburn in the Franks. Auto parts number three car in tonight's Grand National feature event. The Grand Prix is brought to you by Franks Auto Parts. Okay, green flag flies with event number 9A, Grand National Sedans for a six lap journey. Ross Nicastri catches the flyer through from the back in the number three car and sets up a third running in the number three car. Cowboy Lilford sitting in position two. And the race leader is Peter Hogan as Lilford gets by on the inside on turn four. Lilford gets by in the number two car, takes the lead, running out of two down the back section now. Hogan jumps uh, through in second placing now and Ross Nicastri looking for the way through with Ron Spink. Ron Spink again on the inside as they race off turn four. to the tail enders. I think you can forget the rest at this stage as Graham Lilford goes ahead by four, five lengths possibly as he races off turn four as the leader now and Ross Nicastri gets through into his second running. Peter Hogan relegated back to third and now under siege from Ron Spink as they race out of turn two. Lilford unchallenged down in three. Nicastri attempting to pick up the deficit at this stage as he races onto the main straightaway and Hogan's gone off turn four but regains still holding down position four Ron Spink now moves away in uh, third place the pressure off Spink to hold down third Nicastri in second race leader is still the cowboy Graham Lawford running up to the white flag five completed one remaining as Lawford cocks the tail sideways out of two down the back section for the occasion, Nicastri attempting to close the gap, picks up a length, half a length maybe, off turn four, final run to the black and white, but Graham Lawford takes it easily, Graham Lawford out of Newcastle, first in the number two car, back then to the Goulburn Flyer, Ross Nicastri, and the Brinks Auto Parts entry car number three, good drive also from Ron Spink in car number four to be placed third at the show of the black and white, and then some distance back to Peter Hogan in the 33 car, followed in by uh, John Laws, we believe to be the driver of the number 21 car, and last of all in car number 72 was Ski Wood. Ski Wood in the number 72 car, the sixth car to cross the wire in the event just concluded. Event number 9A, the uh, Grand National Sedans for their uh, third outing on uh, tonight's Action Pact. Yeah, and a good one too, Al, on the tacky top. The uh, sedan's coming to life now as Graham Lilford picks up the win. Lilford out of Newcastle. Ross Nicastri coming out of Goulburn. She's there all over the place. And uh, Ron Spink, I think, comes from Cogra. So, <laughs> or, or in that, that 
area of uh, Sydney. So, uh, Graham Wilford, the winner from Ross Nicastri and Ron Spink, the race time, 1 minute 38.85, 1 minute 38.85.